So you might have changed your profile picture on Facebook to stand with PP, but apparently the best way to combat anti-planned parenthood and anti-abortion protesters is to talk about your yeast infection. Now this is uh, Mary Numer here. And she says that over the last few weeks that she has seen a woman holding a sign that read abortion kills children outside the Planned Parenthood building near her office. Now she is a supporter of Planned Parenthood uh, because they helped her in the past. She says when she was 20 years old the clinic treated her for UTIs and yeast infections. They also provided her with her first birth control pills. Now after several failed attempts at approaching the protesters outside her local clinic to discuss their complaints and reason with them. She decided to try a different approach. You're seeing a picture of that here. She says, Dear PP, thanks for helping with my yeast infections, while she chanted yeast infections over and over again. Now she says that initially they had spread down the sidewalks on both sides of the street, but after some yelling and high kicks on my part, they huddled together, they glared at my princess wave and cheerleader enthusiasm, and they began a prayer circle. This is when <laughs> so I really shined. I have never made my voice louder. One woman turned around during their prayer to shake her head at me, to which I responded, OMG, do you have a yeast infection? I know who can help you. She covered her kid's ears. Because God forbid a kid hear about a yeast <laughs> infection when you're at an anti-abortion protest. Yeah, shout. That's the worst thing that they're gonna hear during that, that conversation. She's, so, this is fighting fire with persistent itchy burning. <laughs> <laughs> so they oftentimes bring to those protests pictures of mangled fetuses. Yes. And stuff. Your kid is not bothered by that, but bothered by a chant of a yeast infection. The sheer he probably has no idea what it even means. Like, yes. like, oh, mommy, what's it? Oh no, Johnny's been corrupted. He heard about yeast. <laughs> okay, but you yeast, what have you done to him? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, look, I I love that she figured out the the secret answer here. They think that you know they huddle up in their prayer circle. They're like, oh Lord Jesus, what shall we do about the lady with the yeast infection? But as she's chanting yeast infection, Jesus hears it, and his ears burn, right? Mm -hmm. And so they're like, oh no, we gotta get out of here. Jesus heard about the yeast infection, and so did Johnny. It's a twofer. Ah, run for the hills. And yeah, this isn't just shouting something to bother the protesters. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the point right. for people who are fighting for Planned Parenthood to continue to receive federal funding. Mm -hmm. That funding goes to women's health programs. Mm -hmm. The money does not go. It is not allowed to go toward birth toward uh, abortions unless it's in the case very very uh, restricted cases of like rape, incest, health of the mother. Unless it's in a state, so it's like if you're a Republican, you're fighting, you're fighting for states' rights. Unless it's in a state that allows you to give money to uh, Planned Parenthood mm -hmm. along a more broad spectrum of causes. Right. And that was her point. She said it's not just about pro life or pro choice. She wanted to talk about the real benefits that she experienced personally. So I think yeah, that's, a great that's point. what yeah. Planned Parenthood does. But it's just such a good place. Like the people who are giving away this federal funding are like, where should we give it? How about Planned Parenthood? Because they're everywhere, they have an existing infrastructure, they're good at what they do. And by the way, through the birth control they gave her and others, they make sure that there's a lot less abortion in the country. Right. Uh, but the true genius of this protest, and I can't, you know, praise Mary enough for this pro protest, is that she realized, oh wait, I'm looking at it from my perspective. If someone came to me and talked to me rationally, I would have a discussion with them, and maybe I would change my mind. Mm -hmm. But then she realized, oh, they're not rational. Right. Oh, so I'm having the wrong conversation with them, and as a country, we're having the wrong conversation with them. So she's like, okay, then I'll do the same thing they do. I'll talk in the language that they understand. They scream and shout like, oh, you don't have an abortion, whatever, right? Abortion kills. She's like, okay, good. Then I'll come and shout things that bother you. Yeast infection. They're like, ah, and it worked. It worked. <laughs> I mean, look, our version of it for guys, we could go and do like Will Ferrell protests. Like, just go in front of the anti abortion people, like, cock balls! <laughs> cock balls! We could do that. <laughs> right? And unless they've They're heard off. of earmuffs, That's right. we'll win. We'll win. <laughs> we could chant like inventive things like, I have a penis. Yes. I have a penis, it which I do, which I do, right? And they're like, ah, penis! Ears burning, run for the hills. I love it. I just hope that they're back. With like yeast infection medications kill yeasts. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Like, I can see the bumper sticker now, like a little yeast, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like.